Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Vai Mehta, bringing you another video today where I'm going to show you how we're going to go from this to this. Now, you guys know how much I love cyberpunk tones, so I was like, I need to do a video on this again. If this is the first time you're here, welcome. I hope you guys learned something today. And without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. So this is the image that the client gave me. The helmet was cut off, but I just recreated that. The reason this image works perfectly for this edit is because the bike is in soft lighting. It's not like in harsh sunlight, so I could shape light the way I wanted to. Now I wanted to keep the ground because I felt like the ground kind of went with the bike. Usually also when you're compositing, getting the perspectives right off the background image when you're changing it is kind of hard. So I was like, the ground kind of works. So the first thing I did was I just removed the plant and this is what I got. I used the pen tool to get like a nice clean cut. Once I had that, I went to unsplash.com where I browsed through a oh, couple of hundred images and I found this. I thought this perfectly went with the perspective and it did not have like a lot of distractions. So I took this image, then I went filter Gaussian blur. I went to blur and Gaussian blur and I kind of added a little bit of depth to the image just to give it like that bokeh effect. Now what I wanted to do next was to change the reds and yellows into that cyberpunk colors so I just created like a hue saturation layer I'm gonna go to reds and that kind of gave it the pink and blue vibe we'll come to the background later of the elements that we're gonna add after that so now I wanted to obviously match the lighting of my subject to the background so the first thing is I created like a curves layer now what I wanted to do is I firstly obviously want to darken the image so I'm going to just bring this a bit down and I wanted to raise the shadows a bit. As you can see I've darkened the image but I've raised the shadows and that's because I don't want the bike to have pure blacks. You kind of lose detail and there are only very specific areas that are close to pure black. So once I did that with curves, this is before, this is after, I created a levels there. Again, the picture is very bright. So I just brought the white values a bit down. Nothing too crazy. Small effects. Then I obviously wanted to create an overall darker image. I brought the exposure down to, let's say, minus 18. And that looks good. As you can see, it already looks like there is a difference. This was your before and this is your after. Now I'm going to go to my color balance tool and I'm going to match the colors of the subject to the background. As you can tell that this could get a lot more darker but when you'll add colors to color balance the luminosity will change. So firstly we change the midtones. I'm going to turn this to more magenta. As you can see I'm getting like some blues and pinks in there. Then I'm going to go to shadows. I'm going to turn this again towards pink again. I don't want to, it to get too purple. So I'm just going to add some reds just to make it pink again. That looks good. And I'm going to add something similar in highlights as well. That looks pretty decent to me. This is before. This is after. As you can see, we are already getting there. Now the next thing what I wanted to do was change the color of the stones. So what I did was I created a solid layer, I created a selection, I selected all these parts inside and I got this. What I did was I used hard light. So usually when you add, you need to add colors to something you select the color blend mode but if this color is light it just doesn't work. So I decided to go with hard light. The soft light and overlay were not working for me so this is what I went. You can obviously pick whatever color you want. Now the next thing I wanted to do was to give the cyberpunk look to the bike itself. So firstly I changed these red bars into a more like cyberpunk color. That looks good. Now I wanted to add something to the wheels. So what I did was I added these circle shapes to the wheels. All I did was I went to the pen tool and I created these shapes 
along the rim of the wheel. Once I had that, I went into the layer. Once you double click, you get these layer style options. I went to outer glow. And once you tick that, it usually picks the color of the main thing itself. And then you can control the spread and play around with the settings based on whatever you want to do. So I did that for both the wheels. As you can see, I added some details here and there itself. It started to look, look pretty good. What I wanted to do next is kind of have this light reflecting on the silencer. So I took a solid layer, I took my brush and I gently painted on the edges. When you are showing light being reflected or bounced off of something, soft light blend mode works perfectly um, in cases of this or when you're doing as if there's a backlit shot, always use soft light, it looks very great and kind of adds to the feel. So this is what I had over here. Then I did something similar with all the other aspects of subject I painted and added the glow to the logo colored his shoulder I did the exact same thing with the helmet as well what I did with the wheels added the outer glow you can obviously create whatever lines you want then I just created some patterns on his knees and like shoelaces just to give it like a cool look after that just with the name now the next thing is kind of super important in compositing in general if you zoom in you can see I have these reflections of light can you see this and this always looks really good if you can match it to the ambient light so one of the ways you can do this is especially if there are highlights you go to select color range and if I'm gonna click here can you see all these highlights just like pop out and stuff and you can have a selection of them and just like paint if you please and stuff so I just like painted some pinks over there just to kind of make it look like the light is bouncing around and reflecting on his jacket. I changed the shield color to pink again. I used color blend mode. Remember talking about color blend mode when I said you can use it here as well. So it worked over here because the shield was black in the first place. So that is one of the best ways to change color of something. Then I added some light effects here just took a brush just painted on the side just to give it like a nice glow I added some blue reflections just like how I did with the pinks these are small details that kind of really help your composite and makes it look a lot more realistic did the same thing over here added some light over here as well and as you can see it is looking pretty good I wanted to add some shadows here so I just created a curves layer and created some shadows now the other thing which I did not like in this image is I feel like he was blending way too much with the background so what I did was I went to my background group and stuff and I created some lights in the background so I just like basically took the brush and did screen screen kind of gives like nice glows so I just painted that and added one for the blue and that's about it this is your before and this is your after just like a quick tip whenever you're doing compositing always remember to firstly match your black levels make sure that the background is not too contrasty or the subject is not too contrasty in our image i think i can reduce the black values a bit more of my subject the other thing is always these light reflections you know you see pink over here you see blue over here you see pinks i think they all kind of sell the effect a lot more and yeah and that's about it that was a quick and short tutorial. Just to recap, make sure you always match your lighting, especially when it comes to highlights. Uh, your black levels are the biggest giveaway of a composite, whether it's a good one or not. And yeah, if you like this video, please let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to this channel and I shall see you guys next time. Take care.